Welcome viewers, this is Danny from Lego Buff Productions, here with my Brickfair Virginia 2016 haul. And you can see the lights in my studio and the edge of the background, and that is because this haul is massive. This is easily the largest Lego haul I've ever gotten in my entire life. The deals at Brickfair Virginia are insane, so I will go through each of these and let you guys know how much each thing costs. So if you ever have the chance to go to Brickfair, this might convince you uh, to end up going. So first of all, I'll start off with some easy things. Those are these two sig figs. One is of Kim Thompson, and he is part of the Lego community team. And here is Kevin Hinkles. This is his newer sig fig. Um, there was a Lego Ambassador Network kind of presentation that went on at Brickfair, and uh, these are pretty much their business cards, and they gave these out for free at the end. So uh, I ended up picking up those two for free. Those are pretty awesome. Two more sig figs to add to my collection. Then I bought these two minifigs, or these three actually. These are the hazmat suit minifigs. So you can see him there. It was a collectible minifigure series. Not sure the exact series on these, uh, but I did get three of them. I bought them from another displayer. I was actually at a vendor looking, uh, but the vendor didn't have these, and there happened to be someone at that same vendor table who had these and they only wanted eight dollars for each which is I think was a steal so I got uh, three of these for eight dollars each so twenty four dollars for those three definitely going to be using those in some future mocks and then next up of the kind of smaller portion of this haul um, is the gorilla now this was in a DC superhero set I never got it uh, but I really like these large molded animals I don't have too many of them and this gorilla was just this is like the only Gorilla Lego has ever made besides the uh, Gorilla Suit guy in the CMF series. So I decided to pick this giant awesome Gorilla guy up. I forgot his name, but he is in the uh, DC Universe. You can go ahead and put his name in the comments down below. Next up was this pack of uh, Pokemon. These are Lego brick-built Pokemon from X39 Brick Customs. Uh, he was selling them for $15 at the convention center. However, I managed to get these for free. Um, Peyton is a good friend of mine, X39 Brick Customs. He has a YouTube channel you can check out, Country Brick X39. He does have a customs business as well. And I asked him, you know, if I could put these on my mock, and then every time someone asked, you know, who made these, I would point him over to his vendor booth, because he was selling these there. And so he gladly volunteered to do that, and then he ended up letting me keep these, which is awesome. I didn't really expect that. I thought I was going to have to return them, so that was really cool. So you can see there's a Charmander, uh, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and then there's also a Pikachu in here. So I believe he is selling these on his website. Not sure if they're in stock or something yet, but he was selling them at Brickfair, and I'm sure he'll be selling them at some future conventions. So I got those four Pokemon there for free. That was pretty awesome. Again, thanks, Peyton, if you're watching. And now on to kind of the bigger stuff. So next up, I got this for about $10, which kind of, uh, I don't know how good of a deal that was, but I really wanted this Mr. Freeze poly bag. I love collecting poly bags, so it was cool to add to my collection. And then uh, I bought these from Lego Bob 35 He's a YouTuber, hasn't made videos in a long time. Patrick, though, he was a really nice guy. I've, uh, he's been at Brick Fair the past several years, actually, so he's a good friend of mine. Um, so there's 10 of these original uh, Episode 3 clone troopers in there. Some of their helmets have fallen off. There's some pilots, some old ones, some newer ones. There you can see the, like the, the episode three newer ones. Uh, there's a bunch of Clone Wars clone, 501st right there, Clone Wars pilot clones. Uh, the whole wide variety, I got this for $90. So it may seem very expensive, but with the 10 of the original episode three clones, I think it's worth it. And then I think there's a total of like 25, or I think there's actually like 30 clones in here. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And then next up, uh, let's see, I got these from a vendor. Uh, he was selling bags, and he, he had full tubs of parts that you could just fill up, and then it would uh, it was priced by the bag. So the small bag, I believe, was like three dollars. So I just got a bunch of these navy dishes in there, and then uh, there's just a bunch of random parts in this one, kind of a wide variety. I believe this bag was six dollars, and then I also got another six dollar bag, which kind of exploded. It was too hard to close. And this just has a ton, 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 ton of these green uh, bubble pieces, bubble windshield pieces. So I, I don't know how many are in here, but there's a ton of these. 
I might eventually build like a spaceship or something and put these in there. Uh, next up, I'll go ahead and move on to this. We did go to the Lego store. They didn't have anything too good, not like Brick World Chicago. That was the real benefit of Brick World. They had a lot of cool stuff at the Lego store. But I did pick up four of these uh, first order snow speeder micro fighters, mainly for the minifigures, but I'll also be parting out the micro fighter because they have some good pieces. These run uh, sale at the Lego store for $8. So as you can see, whoops. In this bag here, there are, there we go, four, three there, and then the one that I just put up here. There we go, here's the uh, the other one. And then in here also is a pick a brick cup, which is just full of a bunch of those ball and socket joints. That's really all that's in here. I wanted to pick these up from the pick brick wall before they left, and I didn't have a chance to get to my pick a brick store. So that was from the leg store again, not too huge. Uh, Connor Lego Lord 82 on YouTube actually spent over $75 and he ended up getting the London bus. So uh, that promotion was also going on, but I didn't feel like spending that much money. All right, now that I got some room to put these sets, let's go ahead and dive into the main part of this haul. So these sets were all from one vendor. Uh, it was $315 for all of them. And then there's a few smaller sets here that were from a few other vendors but I'll, I'll jump in with those first. I got this passenger plane, which is almost complete. It's missing like three pieces. Uh, it was all in pieces, but I built it at the convention center. It's just broken down here. This was, it says $20 in there, but I got it for 10 at the yard sale, uh, which is a cool thing that they have at Brick Fair. Then also at the yard sale, I got all of these for half price of what their stickers say. So, oops, uh, this one, this little kind of crawler thing with the roll cage. This was, oh, and there's also the airport. This is from the airplane, also in that $10 airplane thing. Uh, so this was only $2. I got it mainly for that cage part on top. And then all of these sets that you see will be parted out. Um, I don't believe I will be keeping any of these built, maybe one or two. Um, but then I got this Freako speeder, which is one of the ones I might keep built uh, for $6. I think it's almost 100% complete, maybe missing one or two pieces. Another one of these for $2, again, mainly just for the parts. And then I got this Swamp Speeder. Uh, I believe it is complete for, was it $3.50? And then I got Cad Bane's Speeder, I believe that's what it was called. This is a cool set from based on the Clone Wars series. I got this for $7, has some great pieces in here. And I believe that was it from the other vendors. Now on to the main part. Again, this is all $315 for all the stuff you see in the bags. So um, I've made three separate purchases, but in total, it totaled $315. All from one vendor, my favorite vendor by far. The best deal at Brick Fair. So I'll go ahead and show you all the sets. Most of these are just pieces, and again, they'll be parted out into my collection for future mocks, but a few of them I will build, and a few of them do have minifigs, such as this one right here. This is the old battle pack, uh, the Imperial one has all the stormtroopers in there. That'll be great for some Galactic Civil War era mocks. This is the uh, fire truck. I actually believe I have this set, um, but again, really just for parts. You can see in there. And again, um, all these may or may not be completed. The guys didn't exactly know, but most of them look pretty close to 100%, so great for part out. This is that hospital set with the helicopter. These are nice trans blue pieces. Then we have this little catapult from sort of, sort of castle or knights, some sort of era set like that. Next up we have this Mars mission set, some cool orange wheels, very big right there. Nice orange dome piece, some other cool pieces in there. And we have this part, uh, it's definitely obviously incomplete. You can see it's the old, I believe it's the old Arc 170. Actually, it's the new ARC-170, it looks like. Yeah, it's the new ARC-170, but without the wings. So just the body for that. And then this, I'm not sure what set this was. We couldn't figure it out. It looks to be some sort of superhero set, and I believe there's two of them in there. Um, but not sure on that, but just a ton of great pieces in there. Some really cool, these chrome pieces right here. Or not, not chrome, but the dark bush gray with that cool tint on them. Pretty cool. Uh, next up here, I believe this is, it looks like the um, Marvel set with, uh, from Iron Man, one of those smaller sets that's in here. Then we have a Hobbit set, 
And this one's really cool because it has the dark red weaves. Again, all these really bought for parts, and I was looking for specific parts, so I like these dark red weaves. And it's always good to have some extra black pieces and that sort of thing. Then next up we have the Umbarum MHC, and this one was pretty much built when I picked it up, but kind of broke on the way home. But this was complete when I picked it up, so that's pretty cool. Then we have the Hoth attack set uh, from a few, uh, quite a few years ago. And this one is complete with minifigs. So I have some more uh, Rebel Snowtroopers, the Tauntaun, the turret, um, all the other pieces that go in a little snow embankment thing. Then these are parts, extra parts from the newest gunship. So just a few kind of random parts from that. Then we have this Space Police set, which I actually do have in my collection. This is that large yellow one. And we have Anakin's Jedi Starfighter from the Clone Wars. Again, you can see it's definitely incomplete there, but it does have the minifig with R2-D2. Then we have Obi-Wan's original Episode 2 Jedi Starfighter. This one looks to me complete with minifig um, and the R2 unit head right there. So that's pretty cool. I will definitely be building this one and completing it if it is not complete. Because I do not have that set and I really like it. Another Mars mission, kind of little road or uh, little airplane type thing. The Assassin Droid Battle Pack with two Assassin Droids in it. And we have the old homing spider droid from the Clone Wars. The Geonosian Cannon. And then this is the superhero set. This is a Spider-Man one. It's like that green car with the wheels that can flip up. So that's pretty cool. Then we have, there we are, uh, Jabba's Palace right here. The complete Jabba's Palace. Both parts of that, the tower in one bag and then the main part in the other. And then this he thought was complete. This is uh, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. This is the original one, I believe from 1999, and it does have the Darth Maul in there, so I will be rebuilding this because it's cool to have those old classic Star Wars sets. Then we have uh, Alien to Conquest, I believe this is, with minifig. It's like a tripod walker thing. Uh, this looks like Exo Force right here. A little walker from that. Uh, this is a Power Miner set. It has some cool tread in it. So excited to pull out all these pieces. It is going to take quite a while to sort all of this. Uh, this was a complete ATRT, however I stripped off some parts of it to use in my mock, but it was complete when I originally got it. This looks to me like a Hobbit Wake Town set. Uh, some parts from it not fully complete. Not 100% sure on that, uh, but that's my best guess. And then another Assassin's Droid Battle Pack with two more Assassin's Droids. Uh, this is the Hobbit set that I, I got one of these last year too. Again, it has these really cool colored weaves, the orange ones. So really impressed with this, really cool one. Uh, this set, uh, I'm not sure on this one. It looks to be a superhero set or an alien conquest, something of that sort that has this awesome piece right there. Great for wall detailing. This is a Hobbit set, not sure the name of it. But it's kind of... One of the first wave of the, actually not, sorry, not Hobbit, Lord of the Rings sets was one of the, the first wave of Lord of the Rings, the set was there. Uh, just some smaller kind of things, nothing important. Uh, this is a superhero set, one of those smaller DC ones. This is Chima, I believe. Now, I'm not familiar with any Chima sets, so if you know the name of this, feel free to put it in the comments down below, but it does have two burp pieces in it and a bunch of other cool pieces with some profile bricks awesome parts in there. Then we have an ATST, the 2007 one. The Milano, and I'm hoping this is complete because I really want a Milano. I'm planning on building this as of now. And then, not sure on this set, probably some sort of Chima thing, that's what it looks like. And then, like, not sure on this one either. If you know the names of these, feel free to put them in the comments down below. This looks almost like an agent set. And then this is the older Y-Wing, not the latest one, but an older one. Uh, I believe 2007 on this. Just some random kind of technic parts 
This set is really old, not sure the year. I might want to build it just for fun and then take it apart because the pieces on this, this one was 100% for the pieces because you can kind of see in this picture those cool dome pieces. I'll go ahead and take those out, these clear pieces. You get two of these and both of them are in there. This piece is awesome. And you also get two of these pieces and both of them are in this bag. So really cool, can't wait to use those in mocks. And then you have a few other really cool older pieces. So excited to use those. And then the final part of this massive $315 haul from this one vendor was this giant bag. Now it's kind of hard to see, I'll zoom in. I don't want to take everything out of here because a lot of this stuff is kind of broken. Um, but I got most parts to build a red airplane. You can see the bottom here, the red part, the top white part, the wing. On the back of it, there is a front in there somewhere. There's also like a blue airplane kind of on the bottom there, if you can see that. There's a few parts of the Caribbean sets, a forklift. Uh, there's two of these dump trucks. It's just kind of the back part of them, but I really like this molded piece right there. That's really cool. So two of these are in here. Uh, there's a Jago set. Uh, it did have the sail on there, but it must have fell off. But this is really cool one. It's like them, something Destiny or something like that. And then there's a space shuttle in here. Uh, the remainders of Palpatine's shuttle, or the Imperial shuttle. I'm not sure the name of this one, but the cockpit was in there too. It just fell off. But just a bunch of kind of other smaller sets that I kind of just threw in there. And then this really cool track as well. I'm not sure what this is from, but pretty cool. And that takes it off. So all those sets that from when I started showing the built one or the pieces to there, that was all including the 315 hours. So let me know if you think that was a deal. I think that was the best deal at Brick Fair. That would definitely make that would definitely make me want to come. If you're watching this, I hope you come next year. Uh, just a few other things. These are those two were actually from the same vendor, uh, but a later purchase and then that set. But real quick, I got these tiles for free in the Brick Fair bag, so that was kind of cool. Uh, but I got this double-decker couch. I got this for $10. Uh, and it has a bunch of the Lego movie minifigs that I didn't have yet. So pretty cool to get this older set that's retired now uh, for $10. And then onto these castle sets. Together, these were $60. So $60 for both of them, not each for both of them. However, they do not have the minifigs. That one does not have the dragon. Uh, it's all pieces. Um, but it does have the boxes, which is really cool. The castle theme was awesome. So it'll be interesting to go through. I'm not sure yet if I want to build the castle because the guy did say it should be 100% complete. So I'm still kind of trying to decide uh, how I want to do that, if I want to build the castle or not. And then the same with that smaller set on the other side there. But a quick pan down and you can see all the sets I just put in there. But the ra that wraps it up for this haul. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope to see you at Brick for Virginia next year. Uh, don't forget to check out my channel so the awesome LEGO videos. And have a great day.